Well, good morning again. I apologize. I am still recovering. So I had to take a little moment for the cause. Okay. Let's what? What do I always say? Let's dive in, right? We have been discussing smarter goals. And as those smarter goals and that goal and objective setting relates to our organizational structure for our corporate entity and our operations, right? As committed, you'll see that I have prepared the organizational chart that I assert is a lot more concise and comprehensive for your operations and each component thereof. And I believe that such lends towards greater productivity. Okay, give me a second, I'm gonna. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta pull up the, the other, the one that was handwritten, if you recall. And I'm believing that you all are having a wonderful day. I am. Okay, there we go. So this is what we went over on Wednesday. We have administration. We have subsidiary concepts. The executive or the board of directors, that branch per se. There under, we have human resources, marketing operation. They're under administration for HR, management for HR, and we went over how the administration for your HR would be basically handling the records, employee records, um, uh, legalities such as, you know, just IRS, um, uh, Department of Revenue, um, uh, which is, of course, state taxes versus um, federal uh, hiring, firing, recruiting, training, all that. Uh, there under would also fall the licensure that we discussed uh, last week, uh, serve safe, food handling, alcohol handling, alcohol, uh, beverage commission, uh, training, um, employee relations training, uh, against sexual harassment, implicit bias, all those things. And then the management would be more the managing, literally, of your labor force in your uh, relevant day-to-day -day operations, okay? Let's see. And so, what I did, is I gave you a more concise, as I've already stated, flow chart, if you will, or organizational chart. Now this is just a template. You can add to this, and I suggest that you do. Or you may take away from it. <coughs> Excuse me. You may also take away from this organizational chart, okay? You'll notice we have the executive board of directors, which is similar to the, the chart from before, uh, your administration, and this is what I was referring to. On the other form, I only had the option to uh, give you basically one subsidiary. This is what I was referring to, if you'll notice. For me, the subsidiary concepts, I have nine. So you, instead of seeing the three boxes that you see here, you would see nine boxes, okay? And then there under, you would see the HR, marketing, and operations for each one of those subsidiary concepts. So if you go to queengetterdone.com, uh, if you haven't visited lately or have never visited, please go and visit and check it out and it will make a lot of sense. You'll be able to um, uh, uh, put all the information together that I have been sharing with you and see how I use it in my own corporate structure, okay? So for me, subsidiary one would be Natural Rhythms Publishing Company. And then two would be Eargasm Records and three, Choreographic. Each one of these subsidiaries, excuse me, has a different mission and vision statement. They each have a different um, uh, uh, organizational structure, depending on the mode of operations. But at its core, each one of them still has uh, these um, uh, basal 
um, components, okay? Especially as it relates to strategic implementation planning for each subsidiary and then as the corporate entity as a whole, all right? So for instance, Natural Rhythms has its HR. Um, in my case, an example for uh, my HR for a Natural Rhythms publishing company would be performance contracts, okay? So uh, I have produced a book of poetry, um, an audio book of poetry. And in so doing, uh, I may have to contract with musicians for um, a musical accompaniment with my poetry, right? So those contracts, because they would be um, <clears throat> non-statutory employees, and a non-statutory employee is someone that might be an independent contractor that you would 1099. You would still need a contract with that person. In my case, I have performance contracts, and I have them dating back all the way to 2005 in my uh, records for my corporation. So that may be something that exists in the HR. Equally, for Eargasm Records, I have similar um, uh, records for that HR as well. Now, the marketing may be just a bit different, or sometimes I will um, uh, create mini or micro strategic implementation plans for the, each of the subsidiaries or combine the subsidiary concepts that are going to be employed for whatever marketing um, uh, launch I am working on, okay? Um, which is called, of course, cross-marketing. And you can do that even within your own organization. So you'll notice that you have, <coughs> excuse me, the subsidiary, your food truck, because remember we've been going over it as it relates to a lot of business based upon what? Food truck, maybe catering, restaurant. So I would suggest, again, so that you are just able to really hone in on your organization and planning, it is best to separate where you can separate your task or your projects, if you will. And you can give these projects or tasks or subsidiary concepts, whatever kind of title you want, as long as you understand that they are under the head, which of course we talked about, you know, the corporate entity at the top being, for example, Tiger Smith Daniel Incorporated, and then there under you have what? Food truck. And I think we said we're gonna call it Rhythm Spoons, right? And then maybe you have catering. And let's say you're just gonna call because you want your catering company to have more of a uh, elegant kind of um, uh, branding, if you will. So you're gonna not call it Rhythm Spoons, you're gonna just call it uh, Silver Spoon. You know what I mean? Silver Spoons catering, right? And what I'm getting at is that, yes, there may be times where you will use both concepts together and you may, and you should draw a, uh, draw up a mini or micro uh, SIP. And I'm gonna stop saying strategic implementation plan because what I normally say is just SIP, okay? So when you hear me saying SIP, it is an acronym for strategic implementation planning. And basically then you can even more so and finitely to the point where it's almost near perfection, you can plan so and organize in such a way that your productivity will be uh, able to rival <laughs> a, a queen get her done. And we know that I'm unrivaled, so I'm just, I'm just suggesting that you just give it a try, okay? And then you have your admin and management and your PR, your advertising, your supply and demand everything we discussed, okay? We've got a little under a minute. I did wanna to touch upon one more thing and then Monday we will continue on with the strategic implementation planning. Just wanted to let you know that if you are interested in receiving one of these templates, um, I use, you can use Word and you can you know, use uh, their options. I use my Apple pages um, and that's how I used, uh, that's how I made this template. If you reach out to me and send me an email at any of the emails that are listed on my website, CFO at CoinGetterDone.com, or again, any of them, I can help you devise your own organizational chart. I'll do it at no cost. Um, and as long as we're not going to fill out every uh, strategic goal or objective, that will be your goal. However, I will help you with, with uh, composing the actual organizational chart. Okay, so see you on Monday. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.
Hej.